Hi everybody, I'm back. I just did a video last night and I mentioned that I was expecting a um, couple of yarn orders and I wasn't expecting one until like tomorrow or Monday. Well, it came today and it's from Hershner's. They were lightning fast. My gosh, I don't know if they're, I can't remember if they've ever been this fast, but oh my gosh, I ordered, what day did I order? I ordered on the 21st. Um, so that was Tuesday. And here it is Friday. Well, FedEx is fast anyway. They, they ship FedEx to me. So fast. I couldn't believe it. So I had to pop on here because my other order from Aberdeen's will... I haven't got a notification that it's shipped yet. So I didn't want to wait. I wanted to go ahead and show you what I got. And I am going to show you my whips that I mentioned in my last video because I have them right here in front of me. So, um, we will start with the first on the list. And it's called, it's from Willow Yarns. And it's called Jubilee. And I must be on a, I must be on a kick about sparkly yarn because I found this. I saw that it had sparkle in it and I had to get it. And it's Jubilee. Uh, this color is Juniper, and you see, oh my gosh, sparkly, and it is 88% cotton, 12% polyester. Beautiful. This is like my favorite color green. So I got two of these, and then I saw these other colors. I must be thinking about fall because I got these other two colors. And this is called maple. I got two of these. Isn't that gorgeous? And you, I don't know. I guess you can feel the metallic thread a little bit, but it's not bad. I'm thinking shawl combining these three colors. Okay, so I got two of those maple. And then the last one is called vintage gold. Excuse the mess in the background. I'm still, I'm still unpacking. Isn't that gorgeous? So those three together, oh, oh, that's gonna be so pretty. I gotta find just the right thing for that. Um, the specs on this, it is a two weight. It's a two weight. I'd say that's a heavy two. That's pretty heavy two to me. So I'm thinking shawl with these three colors. Um, there are 317 yards in each skein, three and a half ounces, 100 grams. And again, 88 cotton, 12 poly. Made in China. Okay, so I got those. Um, before I show you this one, I wish I could remember who it was that showed this to me. Um, was it? Oh, might have been Darla at Crafty Yarn Owl. Or it might have been, who was it? Anyway. Or no, it was... Uh, Lynette, the Charm Grammy. Yeah, that's who it was. Charm Grammy crochet. And she only had one. And it would only let me add one. So I don't know whether they were limiting people to buy more than one or what. But she only got one and I only got, I could only get one. I tried to get more. This is called, uh, it's from Universal Yarn, Cotton Supreme Sapling. And it is 100% cotton, and it's very, it's pretty soft. I wouldn't say it's the softest cotton I've ever felt, but it's pretty soft. Um, three and a half ounce, 100 gram, 109 yards, bulky weight. 
Um, yeah, I'd say that's, I'd say that's a five. I'd say that's a five. Um, you can machine wash warm, tumble dry, but I imagine it'll shrink. 100% cotton. But that's the most gorgeous color, purple. I'll, I'll have to pair that with another cotton, I guess, because I don't know what I could get out of that. I'm kind of nervous about making a cotton hat because cotton doesn't stretch. So has anybody done a cotton, 100% cotton beanie? That would make a pretty beanie. So I got one of those. And then I have the Willow Yarns Rise. Oh, I didn't tell you prices. The Jubilee, which is the sparkly, they were $3 a skein. I don't know if that was the normal price, but on my, on my packing slip says $3. That's not bad for a sparkly yarn. Um, the sapling was $3.97. And then we're moving on to Willow, another Willow Yarns called Rise. And this is Coral Reef. It doesn't really look corally to me. It looks more pink to me. Um, these were $3.97 each. And I got three of them. They are a three weight. That's a pretty thin three. That's about the same weight as the Jubilee, which is supposed to be a two. Those are very similar. Very similar in weight. Um, this is 58 cotton, 42 acrylic. Uh, I guess you can machine wash, tumble dry, if I know my symbols. Um, again, coral reef, 475 yards, 5 ounces, 150 grams. So that's a good amount of yarn. I got three of those. And that, that would make a beautiful shawl really pretty three of those and the last of the yarn i have these already and i think i might already have this color and now i have more this is the willow yarns stream and these were 279 a piece i got four i think i might already i don't know if i have this color i got i ordered a bunch of them last time um, but this is my favorite fiber combination. 70% superwash wool, 30% silk. That's my favorite fiber combination. Other than 100% silk, of course. But this is... It's soft. I think it'd be fine against the skin. It is soft. Um, the color on this is called Dogwood. It's a real pale pink. Um, 1.7 ounce, 50 grams, 437 yards or 400 meters. And I would say that is a one weight yarn. I don't know where to put close-ups that it'll focus because this thing never focuses. I'd say that's a one weight. Uh, oh, the label actually says it's a zero weight. So, which is a lace weight. I'd say it's a one. It's heavier than a thread, I think. But it, it is airy, so when you're working with it, it's, it's going to collapse and be a little thinner but I have a bunch of that already so that is all for the yarn and then as I was perusing the site I saw this non-yarn item and I'm like I had to have it it kind of speaks to me 
So here I'm sitting having my coffee. And I decided I would pick up a mug. And this is called Fiber Lovers Mug. And it's got every single fiber that you can think of on it. Uh, every acrylic, nylon, bamboo, silk, alpaca, possum, cashmere, cotton, vicuña. See, some, some things I never even knew that they made yarn out of. Tensile, dog, crystal, angora, raffia, hemp. I'm not sure what that is. Quiviet, I don't know what that is. Wire, polyester, cat, milk, which is milk cotton, wool. That's that's just right up my alley. That's a cute mug. Sweet. So that's all for my Hershners. Now now to find a place to put it. So uh, here is my, here are my whips, and I talked about this beanie in my last video. By the way, this is Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, um, November 24th, 2023. So here's the beanie that I'm working on. This is the feather stitch beanie and using the coffee shop coffee shop yarn the only thing i don't really care for is this ridge i don't really i don't like that sudden change so i looked at the inside of it because this this row called for third loop go into the third loop and by my recollection, the third loop is facing you instead of behind. So I hope I went into the right stitch. If I didn't, then this side would be the right side. And this side actually looks better to me, even though you've got this dip. You've got kind of a dip there. So, I mean, I could pull that, I could pull the end through and have this be the right side. What do you guys think? I don't I don't know I'm not I'm not a big fan of although it might look okay on it just looks weird to me it looks weird I wish there was a different way to do the crown although I, I like how this looks this was half doubles I believe um, anyway it's all done I just have oh a stitch came out oh well that's okay um i just have to uh put a brim on it it's it's long enough and then the brim will bring it down a little bit more so really you can't even see that ridge when you're wearing it but there's that you gotta add the brim um, this next one, I mentioned that I made a cowl for my girlfriend and I decided to start another one and I can't remember what yarn this is, but I'm pretty sure it's wool. I'm going to put my stitch marker back in here. Oh, there's my dog. Oh, you see my dog? Actually, my son's dog. So this is the bean stitch. And uh, this, is the, this is the width. So it's growing this way. And uh, the way I did hers, I just, I went as long as I thought that I should. And then I think I fold, no, I folded it this way. Yeah, I folded it this way for the cowl think yeah I'm pretty sure but now that I'm looking at it especially with the smaller yarn it it does look like a coffee bean so that's gonna turn out nice when I finish it 
And then this last one I started just today because I was, I was looking at all my yarn last night um, that's in its place finally. And I have two cakes of Hobie Universe XL with the metallic thread running through it. I have two. One of them I think is a partial because the band was not on it. And I thought, I'm gonna, I need to make something with that. So usually if I need inspiration, I go to Ravelry, type in the name of the yarn, and I look for projects that way. I do that quite often. So I saw this headband using front and back post double crochet. So I thought, I'm going to go ahead and start. It's probably fast. Um, but here's the yarn. And it probably won't even use it all up. I don't know. It might. So that's very fall colors. And this is what I have so far. So this is, this is how wide it'll be. So I just have to let grow it as long as I need it to, and then connect it like that. And there you go. You got a headband. I may twist it like I did that cowl. I may twist it and do it like that. Actually, the pattern may even call for you to twist it. So those are my three smaller projects that I've got going. Um, they shouldn't take long to finish. And then I've got, you know, bigger projects like blankets and stuff. And then I want to make get back to making shawls. I really miss making the shawls. I've discovered that I like working with thinner yarns more than the thicker yarns. So four weights I'm not as crazy about even three weights I'm not as crazy about as one and two weights I don't know why I don't know why I like them better they they're much slower you know to complete but I just think they're prettier and I'm really liking shawls so that's one reason I got this and this to make shawls so there's that so, um, oh, I wanted to talk about, because I see people all the time talk about what they put in their coffee. This is like the perfect color coffee for me. This is perfect. But so many people talk about what flavored creamer they use and all that. I don't like all the ingredients that you can't pronounce in store-bought creamers. So I'm opting, and I have been opting, for coffee syrups, which is just sugar. Um, actually, there's some other ingredients in there. But anyway, this is the first time I bought this one. It's a little bit cheaper. Um, got this off of Amazon. Pumpkin spice syrup. And I use that, and I use half and half, and that's that's my creamer. So I think that's a little bit healthier alternative to store-bought creamers because, you know, a lot of preservatives in those and ingredients you can't pronounce. So, you know, I try to be healthy where I can. Uh... I miss the mark a lot of times, but I do the best I can. Eliminate it where I can. So that is what I have for today, you guys. There's Goober. Please ignore the boxes. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still getting settled. So um, thanks for joining me. I forgot to mention at the outset, my name is Donna. My channel name is Donna Loves Yarn, because I do. Um, and I appreciate anybody who watches. I uploaded um, yesterday's video last night, and I looked at it today, and there were three views. 
Well, you know, that's three people that watched. It's better than none. So, uh, yeah, hopefully my content improves a little bit. Um, I'm in my kitchen today because it's a little more comfortable to sit in here. I just wanted a different, different backdrop, that's all, with boxes. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up and say goodbye to everybody and thank you for joining me and I hope that you come back. Um, subscribe if you would and leave comments. Nobody's left comments on any of my videos really yet. So I would appreciate some interaction. You know, just anything. Say hi. That's all. And uh, I hope you come back and watch my future videos. It's going to be pretty much yarn and crochet. Um, I have Tunisian hooks coming today. So I really want to get into Tunisian crochet. I might even order Tony Litzy's book. Maybe. I'm on the fence about it. But I really want to, I'd love to make an Afghan. I'm just very intrigued by Tunisian. I've, I've dabbled in it a little bit just to see, you know, what it feels like to do it that way. And it just seems awfully fun. You can't make anything big unless you get a hook that has a cable on the end. You can't make anything big like an afghan or throw or whatever. So this kit coming has cables on it. Um, and then I placed an order with We Crochet today because they were having 25% off. And I ordered their dots hooks, which I love. So this will be my third set, I think. Um... But I ordered the set that has the caddy, so I'll be able to leave them in the caddy and hopefully not lose them. Um, so I've got that coming, and then I have, I ordered a, I think a six and a half millimeter wooden Tunisian hook with the cables. So I'll have, because I want to work with the thinner yarns also in making Tunisian. This kit I've got coming today is bigger hooks, which I need to practice some more. So that's all I have now. I went on a, on a tangent again. Um, I, again, I appreciate you watching and I hope you come back and I hope you have a great rest of your day or evening or whatever time you're watching this. I hope your Thanksgiving was marvelous. And uh, make the best of this coming season. Make the best of it. And know that God loves you. Jesus loves you. And so do I. So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks. Bye.